So it's in the afternoon now after our morning ladybug release. And you can find that they've uh, climbed all around the plant. Have one here up on the top of this blossom feeding away on aphids. Another one patrolling that blossom there. See right in front of my hand. The objective in releasing ladybugs is obviously to control aphids but it's the adults that when you release them they'll feed mate and then lay eggs and those eggs hatch out in a little ladybug larva of course I'm trying to look all over the area and see if I can find any ladybug larva uh, it's time of year not too easy Over a, a couple day period, hundreds of eggs will be laid in a garden. And those eggs hatch out in about 10 days. They turn into the larva. Larva feed for a couple weeks. And then the larva go through a metamorphosis that turns them from a ladybug larva into this beautiful ladybug beetle. in the process of hunting down this plant to find some ladybug larva. I actually came across an egg case recently laid by a praying mantid. There's usually a lot more going on in your uh, garden or landscape than meets the eye. And that's why just blanket spraying your garden often does substantially more damage than it does good. This is a good point to make. You can spray fungicides with your beneficial insects in most cases. The fungicides very rarely have any insecticidal properties. So if you have powdery mildew and you don't want to uh, kill off your uh, aphid population, you can spray uh, most of your favorite fungicides for the powder your downy mildew and not have to worry about killing off your beneficial ladybugs, green lacewing, praying mantid, predator mites, all the guys that are out there fighting uh, the pest battle for you. Go over here to the, looks like a sun flare that needs some, a uh, little bit of iron actually. It's got plenty of nitrogen. That's one reason these roses are so vigorously growing is that they're right next to the lawn where the gardeners are putting down a fairly consistent application of high nitrogen fertilizer, which is causing these roses to flush out all this growth very quickly, which attracts all the aphids to that bronzy supple new growth and then requires good application of lacewing or ladybugs so we got ladybugs getting into this heavily infested sun flare take them a couple days to go through here. You know, often the best way to do your release is at the base of the plant. And you can see how they walk up and down the branching and then spread out onto the foliage of the blossoms. And that's our uh, ladybug rose segment for you there, part two.